In this question you're given a line and you're told that it lies on an oblique plane with an angle of x to the horizontal plane. x meaning whatever angle you're told in the question. Okay, so it has an angle of x to the horizontal plane. Okay, if I look at my elevation at this, you can see the line is higher at one point than at the front. Like so, point. That that's the top, so that's up higher, and that's the front. To start off this question, we're going to try and think of an object or a solid that is uniform no matter what height it is. What comes to mind is a cone. If I draw a cone from here down at x degrees, it's going to be the same no matter if it's this height or if it's this height. So I'm going to start off with a cone at the back. There's the cone. If I look at my elevation, this angle here is the angle that we're told in the question. That's one cone. Done for the back point. What are we going to do for the front point? We're going to draw another cone. But this one's going to be smaller. But as you can see, the angle is the exact same. Now, what's that give me? Or what is the point of drawing two cones? If I look down at plan, I'm given two circles here and here and what can I get? I can get the horizontal trace by drawing a line tangential to both circles. This line is tangential to both planes as you can see there. Now that we've found HT it's time to find VT. So to find VT we're going to use a method that, that we have already used to find a point on the plane before. To do this, we must have a height. We have a height. If I look at my elevation, we have a height. And we must have one plane or one trace to work on. Okay, so I'm going to turn my plan. I'm going to take the top apex of the big green cone here. I'm going to bring a line from the apex of the cone parallel to HT like so we're going to bring this up at the elevation and bring it up until it's at the same height as the top of the cone so I'm going to bring it up to elevation and the same height as the top of the cone so this point here is now a point on our trace now we have our horizontal trace and our vertical trace. To prove this, I'm going to get my oblique plane. There's my oblique plane. And as you can see, just when I move it, you can see where it's touching. If I look in at this as an edge view, you can see that each of the two cones is touching the plane from the top of the cone to the base or to the horizontal plane so there you can see from the top to the horizontal plane I can show you this one more line there's my two lines that's my line of contact between the cones and the planes but that's how you find the trace of a plane when you're given two points contained on the plane